Hi guys, I'm Wendell Holmes of the Holmes Brothers and you're watching Live at the Club Cafe, the next stage in music. Tonight on Live at Club Cafe, the Holmes Brothers. Now they've been playing to audiences all around the world, but they've noticed one common thread that links us all together. People have the same aspirations for as a family and security, so a lot of them are touched by the same emotions that come to me, so we can find the same emotion in Turkey as we can find in Pittsburgh. Plus David Wilcox. His songs seem to tap into a universal truth that come from outside of himself. If I knew what the song was about before I started writing it, there'd be no reason to write it. It's my, it's kind of like the headlights of the car that reach way out beyond where I am. The, the music shines ahead. Two great artists, one great night. You're watching live at Club Cafe, the next stage in music. Hi, I'm Mara McFalls and we are at Club Cafe on Pittsburgh Southside. Kicking off tonight's show, we've got the Holmes Brothers. Now they've been touring the world together for over 30 years, playing a mix of rock, gospel, and blues. They've collaborated with people like Peter Gabriel and Joan Osborne. Now these are three guys who have been around, but they still love life on the road and bringing their music out to the world. And we are proud to bring them to you tonight, live at Club Cafe. Teach me how to speak and teach me how to share. Tell me where to go and tell me will love be there. Will love be there. Oh, come and let your light shine down. Oh, come and let your light shine down. Oh, 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 come and let your light shine down. Oh, come and let your light shine. Well, growing up as a kid, we were fortunate. Uh, growing up in the South, in Virginia, and. Uh, being big fish in a little pond. Nobody else could play anything, so anything we played was all right. And we used to listen to Jimmy Reed and, of course, a lot of gospel. And in the rural South in the 50s, uh, the black stations didn't have much wattage, so Hank Williams would come through with 100,000 watts while you're listening to Jimmy Reed. And uh, so you either had to love that country music or not love it. <laughs> and we grew up in the church. However, the church didn't grow up in us so much, but. Uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, a combination of gospel and country and, and blues. And sing a little love song About loving myself That's something that you want to hear You can sing it yourself I was a little kid, about seven years old, so we going on near Christmas time. So my mother passed the toy store and said, what you want Santa to bring? I looked in the window and seen a little plastic saxophone and thing down there. I said, nah, that ain't it. I looked up in the top, there was a little red drum set there. I want Santa to bring this. She said, I can send him a letter and see if he'll send it to you. So Christmas Day, I had him. And I've been playing ever since then. Thank God for Santa. That's right. I have a diamond in my Calling your name, Lord, let me 
Well, actually, uh, Popsy, our brother here, was sitting in one night, singing with his beautiful voice, and uh, some producers uh, from Rounder Records heard him and uh, said, who did you play with? And he said, the Horn Brothers, and came down and heard us. And uh, the rest is history, you know? But uh, even without that happening, we were working a lot, you know? We were working a lot, but this is better. After 10 years of performing together, they finally landed a deal with Rounder Records. They released three more albums with Rounder, and then they moved to their current home with the renowned blues label, Alligator Records. Our so-called success, I think, came about 1989, 1990, but before that time, we'd been playing many, many, many years before that, but uh, the overnight success came in 89, you know, after about 30 years of playing. Don't know how, don't know when, can I get our love, baby, back together again. I was so blind, could not see, should have been you, baby, should have been me, we me. We part, hey, sometime, we remember, 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 remember. A song I wrote called We Meet, We Part, and Sometimes We Remember, which has done well for us on our latest album. And uh, when I, I've been writing that song, Marco, for 50 years, uh, and I'm 61 years old. My, when I was a little kid, my mom, who was an educator, she had, I looked at her college yearbook from 1931, and in there, some guy had written to my mom, we meet, we part, and sometimes we remember, and it was not my daddy. <laughs> so that's inspiration. <laughs> 50 years it took me to get that out of my guts. Yeah. You're the one that got away. I still remember, baby, how you tried to make me stay. You tried so hard to make me see. This is love of ours, baby. It was meant to be. We need, we part, hey, sometimes, baby. Remember, 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 remember. Me and we part, hey, baby. Breaking my heart. Tossing and turning and rolling around. Thinking about you, baby, and the new love you found. Little did I know. You've not been around I've been losing, baby The jewel in my town We meet We part Hey, baby Remember, 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 remember Meet and we part Hey, baby Remember, remember, remember Doing country, gospel, blues, uh, rock uh, it's some of each of the, uh, some of all of that stuff that we like, you know. And when it comes to gospel, I always tell people that Jesus was down with a good party at the wedding feast. He turned water into wine, not wine into water. So we do gospel, the blues, we do the whole whole nine yards from our hearts. The wrong time to hold my head up and walk away. Something's trying to tell me That I should fall down on my knees And I should beg you to stay Oh, I think Club Cafe is great Audience is so good, they come out and see us And they go like this when we come And go like this when we leave So hey, we're pleased, we love it there. 
The Holmes Brothers' latest CD, Simple Truths, is in stores now. Or you can catch them on tour. They play blues festivals all summer long. And now coming up next is David Wilcox. You're watching live at Club Cafe, the next stage in music. Live at Club Cafe is powered by Comcast and sponsored by Budweiser True Music and Saturn of Wexford, Saturn of West Liberty, and Saturn of Pleasant Hills. Welcome back. Now we're going to shift gears a little bit for our next artist, David Wilcox. People have compared his modern folk to both James Taylor and Joni Mitchell. He blends these mystical, life-affirming lyrics with this soulful voice and incredible guitar playing. And we've got him for you here tonight, live at Club Cafe. Secret of a happy marriage Maybe you should write this down You wanna keep a love together The best way is to end it now Cause when you both know it's over Suddenly the truth comes out You can talk about your secret passion You can talk about your restless doubt When there's no pretending the truth is safe to say Start with the ending Get it out of the way Now there's no defending And no one has to win Start with the ending It's the best way to begin The honest conversation well, it usually doesn't happen on the first date, does it? It usually happens later, like after you're already broken up. Like years after you're already broken up. When you meet by chance in some little club, and suddenly there they are, there's no escape. It's a little awkward at first, they ask how you're doing, you're just about to give your usual answer and then you realize, why bother trying to make a good impression? You're already broken up just tell the truth. There's a lot of truth to tell. The conversation gets real. You wind up feeling closer than you ever were as lovers. I'm wondering why it took so long to have that conversation. The honest conversation. Because with a little imagination you could have that conversation first. Now how would that be? Imagine going into a relationship fearless as if it were already over as if you had nothing to lose at first it seems like you're doing two things you know you're playing the right hand and the left hand you know and then you realize after a while no you're doing one thing you know but then it seems like no you're singing and playing guitar that's two things right no it's really one thing but then you think well you're up in front of an audience it's you and them right it's two things no it's really one thing and it just keeps going like that. You think I'm playing music and I'm living my life? No. Everything you do in your life affects your music, your music affects your life. Wait a second, where does it stop? It's a compass that guides everything. And so, you know, people say life on the road is hard. I think, well, that's, that's great. That's, you know, I mean, you don't go to the gym because the weights are light, you know? You, you go there because that's how you get strong. And, so life on the road can be a real challenge to stay sane and healthy and happy and but what a great place to work out because if you get your sanity chops on the road then when you get home suddenly you can be really sane and grounded and it's so fun and it's all because it's difficult it's all because it's so humbling you know it's it's not sort of the rarefied air of you know, living where all your dreams come true. It's pounding out, how am I gonna sustain my vision of who I am and why I'm doing what I'm doing? It's mystical. I don't know how it works, but I've seen it happen. And I'm grateful. It's really fun to be able to work at what you love, and I never take that for granted. Um, it keeps leading home. Happy anniversary, darling. We go back a long, long time. I think about our lives together. I'm so grateful you are here in mine. And I know you'll keep on changing. 
changing You're moving in this dance with me I love the way we embrace the future And keep the past a memory So there's no defending That the old ways could remain We start with the ending Things will never be the same But now there's no pretending And no one has to win Start with the ending It's the best way to begin It's not an accident that the world is the way it is. I think it's a perfect place to live a life where we're asked to love in the face of fear. There are people who make their living designing golf courses. They're good at it. And what's a good golf course? Is it easy? No. It's not sort of like a nice gutter shaped downhill so you drop the ball and it goes in the hole. No. It's got trees and water and sand traps. They're not there naturally. Somebody dug a hole and filled it full of sand. Why? You're getting so frustrated. You're thinking, why does this life have to be so hard? Why does it have to be so cruel? It's like, you know, kids growing up. It's like walking through a minefield. Why? It's like getting frustrated on the golf course and saying, why couldn't they make it easy? And then there's this tiger somebody behind you saying, isn't this a beautiful design? And you say, what? It's a disaster. Look at this. He says, yeah, any weakness you have, it'll show it to you. I say, yeah, disaster. He says, no, beautiful. I guess it depends on how you play or why. Stick around because we've got more from David Wilcox coming up next. They jacked a plane to make a sneak attack. They were trained to die in flames Their last words were to God above Just to praise His holy name For all the terror and destruction They felt no sense of shame You gotta wonder why religion Can make people so insane but their devotion was unquestioned Follow straight and never swerve The devil always needs a good man In the worst sense of the word In the worst sense of the word It's always so frustrating the fact that the song that you feel when you first get the idea is so much better than what finally comes out and sort of surrendering to the process of uh, um, how it changes and how it when it's finally presentable to someone else it's nowhere near what it should have been sort of like trying to remember a dream you know when you wake up you're in this world where you know, the whole world makes sense and there's big love and if only you could remember this dream you'd be able to live your life, you know. And you try to write it down and you know, all you get is these meaningless images and you start to forget and you think, ah, oh, it's gone, it's gone. Now when she danced, the music knew her Like the waving of a wheat field Gives the hidden wind away So I'm so grateful For her beauty And I knew she could not stay David's finishing up two CDs in the studio now But in the spring he's going to sell his house And take his family out in an Airstream trailer And just travel the country But he's still going to play shows along the way So you definitely want to check him out if you want to find out more about David or the Holmes Brothers, go to our website at clubcafelive.com. 
And now it's time to catch this week's buzz. There's a lot of great new music that's out there and the buzz is where we help hook you into some of it. So let's start off by looking at some new CDs that are in stores now. Let's start off with The Kills. They've got great stripped down bluesy punk and their debut album, Keep On Your Mean Side, was packed with sex and attitude, but their follow-up is an even tighter collection of songs about love and lust gone wrong. And also, soul legend Solomon Burke. Now he's been making country-tinged R&B since the 60s with guys like Otis Redding and Wilson Pickett. And his major comeback album came in 2002 called Don't Give Up On Me. And this year he brings us Make Do With What You Got. Now we also have Deanna Carter. You've heard the story before of Nashville producers claiming total creative control over their new artists. Well, Deanna Carter finally broke free of their grips and reclaimed control with her new release called Story of My Life. And last but not least, we've got R.E.M. They re-released all of their albums, but this time around, each CD comes with a DVD. And it includes the entire album in surround sound. It's got video documentaries, web links, photos, lots of great stuff. All right, now let's talk about iPods. They're everywhere and everybody seems to have one, but they're more than just an updated version of a Walkman. They're part of this whole digital revolution of music. And the best place to find music online is at iTunes. Be sure to dig into the iTunes Essentials. You click into, say, Bob Dylan, and iTunes walks you through step by step, giving you 75 songs from all the albums he's released over the years. Now, they start with the basic tracks that everybody knows and loves, and then they take you to the more obscure tracks that are essential Dylan. If you already have an iPod, you probably already know about iTunes, but even if you don't, it's a great place to go and just check out new music. Coming up next, we're going to dip into the Club Cafe archives for a performance by Canadian rocker Kathleen Edwards. We'll be right back. This Buzz segment was brought to you by Saturn of Wexford, Saturn of West Liberty, and Saturn of Pleasant Hills. Saturn, people first. Budweiser True Music presents A Moment in Time from the Club Cafe archives. Did you lose your head when the farm went down? After he moved you down And I know your mama calls you Good for nothing Says your baby is a failure And she don't want you calling And I tried to come clean But I guess it's no use Faces all over six o'clock Thanks for joining us tonight. Now stay tuned for a preview of next week's show. You say I talk so all the time. I'm Mara McFalls. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.